This is the Rubik's Magic. I've never solved one before, but with zero help, I'm gonna give myself 20 minutes to do it right now. Ah! But first, a quick history lesson. So the Rubik's Cube, yep, the guy who invented that, same guy who invented the Rubik's Magic, I believe in the mid 1980s. Now this is a new one that I got, but here's one that my friend lent me, which is one of the originals. If you look closely over here, that's Matchbox, the original distributors of the game. And look at that, 1986. This is one of the first ones ever made. That Rubik's Magic puzzle, new from Matchbox. You'll never put it down. So believe it or not, this is actually what the puzzle looks like at the start. And when it's solved, it should look something like this. Now I haven't watched a single tutorial on this. All I know is that that's my final goal and I need to somehow figure that out in 20 minutes. Will I figure it out? And what happens if I don't? Well, I guess we'll see. Okay, first things first, let's see how this thing um, bends. <laughs> it's not a cube. Okay, can I keep on going? No, okay. What on earth? What is this? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I just, oh wait, no, I made, I did nothing to this. So it looks like there are these like elastic bands holding it together. I do not have the time to like appreciate how crazy it is and the genius of like it being able to do all these moves without like breaking, but it is amazing. Okay, so what happens if I do this? Can I further, I can't do that. Oh, I don't wanna break it. Can I, oh my gosh, what's going on there? So can I do that? Yeah, I can do that. And then what? What happens if I open it up <gasps> a different way? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what did I just do? Okay, something. How on earth would I like get that V shape? If I get it via trial and error, that would be insane. Ugh. All that time wasted. Now, fun fact, this actually used to be an official WCA um, puzzle and the world record was actually set at the Beijing uh, 2000, oh wow. That is really cool. And just like wear that like a bracelet. Uh, and the world record was actually set in 2011 uh, by Yushen Wang um, at the time of like 0.69 seconds, which is insane. So people can, oh wow. So yeah, all the OG people in the early days of the WCA, they've all got recorded times um, for the Rubik's Magic. I think they discontinued it because it wasn't really a puzzle after a while. It was really just a matter of like, who could just like, you know, execute a certain move the fastest. There's apparently a few ways of solving this. Okay, so once it's in that state, I'm finding I can't, ooh. It doesn't always let me like open it when I, oh wait, it does. Oh gosh, that is brilliant. I actually just want to practice getting into that like, ooh. <gasps> ooh, hey, hey, hey. Yo, hey, that is actually what I want. That's really good. So I've got one, two, three, like this all solved. And I actually just need to move that piece over there and then move like some stuff. Guys, it's like I've used a quarter of my time and I'm just only scratching the surface. Okay, to me, it has to be something to do with this. There has to be something related to this, which explains how this could turn into that sort of V shape. I actually really enjoy like doing this instead of just like moving along. It actually doesn't make sense to me how I can possibly even do that. Erno Rubik is quite the genius, I must say. <laughs> Look at that. Whee! Oh, oh, oh. I feel like I'm, I'm about to get the V shape. What even is this? It's, it's, it's a shelf. How is this even possible? Oh man. I just imagine people who know how to solve this, just like watching, I really hope they're not watching this and, and just weeping at my ineptitude. And we're back to the rectangle. This puzzle is very cool and frustrating. Two very boring minutes later. Oh wow, look at that. Yo, this thing is like a butterfly. Oh wow, look what I just discovered. You can like fold it in this way, right? And then if you just do that, it opens up that way. <laughs> Erno Ruvik, you're a genius. What the? <laughs> it's a seat. Is this? Is this any closer to what I'm supposed to do? Oh, wow. The way this thing transforms is actually insane. Whoa, okay, I've made an L shape. That is a, that's a good sign, right? I just need to figure out how to open that. What do I, what do, I do with it? What, what do I do with this shape? These shapes. How is this that same puzzle from before? 
it actually makes zero sense. <laughs> what? Like, what is this? Like, like what? Oh, hey, could I just fold it out? Oh my gosh. I can fold it out. That's it. I made it. I made the V shape. <laughs> I've got six minutes to go, but I made the V shape. How, how, how did I make the, wait, wait, let's reverse engineer that. So I folded this back there and then I sort of like, did, now, I, now I can't do it anymore. Wait, was it this side? Yeah, fold it there and then, that's right, I had like this. And then I did like... What? Cool, cool, cool. So that's an L shape from before. So once I get it to the L shape, I can, I can make the horse stable and then I can... Why is that even like that? <laughs> I feel like the challenge now is to just get it back to like a, a rectangle. Like literally, I, c I can't even fold that out. Okay, so it unpacks to that. And then and then it goes back into this like, it's now like a horse. Nee, nee. The Rubik's is magic, but I am not. Okay, look, if I can even just get it back to like the re rectangle, I would be like so, so happy and, and amazed right now. Although, can you appreciate this shape? That, that is pretty cool. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. One minute left. Come on, guys. <laughs> I made a chest. Look, I made a box. I've made like every single possible shape except for the actual thing. What even is this? It's, it's an octopus. Octopus. <sighs> well, I mean, I guess that's time. In my defense, I made some really, really, really cool shapes like this. That is why you fail. I was defeated by the puzzle, guys. I mean, I want to say I did my best, but clearly my best wasn't good enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, how are these shapes being made right now? So I think the question is, do I now post this video of my complete and utter failure of my... What? Oh my gosh. Oh, I should have just taken this old one out and said like, hey, I got it back to its original state and made it look 30 years older in the process. j makes all these videos where he like solves a square one with no help and then he just manages to do it. This will be like the most disappointing Tingman video ever. I should put in a thumbnail like, Rubik's is magic, but I'm not.